The average person doesn't quite understand just how much technology goes into growing our food. Well, at John Deere, they've embraced technology for decades, and today I'm going to ride in one of their autonomous tractors. Now, the tractor is able to stay in line in a field without running over crops thanks to that precision GPS module up there, the yellow one, and then right in front of it is a camera that uses computer vision to make sure that the tractor stays off those plants. While a self-driving tractor does seem fun, it's actually got real world uses. While the tractor is driving itself, the person behind the wheel can keep track of the implement that's being dragged behind it. They can make sure that the tractor doesn't run into anything that the sensors can't see and they can also look and see how well their crops are doing and if they need to contact someone and say hey you know what the plants in this acre they need some help john deere has over 60 stationary reference points that it uses to help calibrate its gps system now that calibrated gps data is sent to its tractors now how precise is it well your average gps device your phone in your pocket it's uh, accurate to within this circle the John Deere tractor, two and a half centimeters, the size of this corner. The company has made sure that the setup in this tractor is the same as the setup in the rest of its other tractors. So no matter what John Deere tractor you get into, you know what you're doing. You know what everything is and where it's at. And what's nice is that everything you need is right in the right hand column. You can just rest your arm and you can shift gears. You can put it in auto mode. It's all right there. In addition to the screens that allow you to control, well, everything, including the implement on the back if it's smart enough, there's also a screen that allows you to see what the computer vision system sees. So you can double check how well your tractor is driving. In addition to these sensors that are on the top of the tractor, there are also sensors along the bottoms and the sides. Now they have to be extremely robust because of the crazy environment they're driving through every day for up to 18 hours a day. So while CES is full of companies that are showing proof of concepts, John Deere, what I've drove in today, that's out on the market right now. This is not an experiment, this is not a concept, this is a real world application that's available to farmers right now.